Hi, we're Sharon and Andy. Welcome to Finca Life. In 2019 we bought a derelict finca that used to be a bodega in the Mercia region of Spain. The building was an empty shell with no main services, water, electric or sewage and we're restoring it doing all the work ourselves with the view to giving us an off-grid debt-free home. In addition to this, self-sufficiency is very important to us, so we're going to aim to produce as much of our own food as possible and the idea behind these videos is to log our progress but also to provide you with something you hopefully find interesting and informative. Please join us on our journey. Today we're going to make a door. It's actually this door for our bathroom. We've nearly finished our bathroom and one of the last things to do. Um, so step by step we're going to show you how we did it. Um, unfortunately, we lost about three minutes of sound later on in the video. Um, we can only apologise, bear with it. I do talk over it, give a commentary over it to explain what's happening. Um, we're not professionals at this. Yep, three weeks ago I didn't even know how to edit a video. So bet, do bear with us, it can only get better. Anyway, this is the door we're going to be making today. It's a wooden farmhouse style, um, fit to make to match the rest of the house, which is over a hundred years old. This is the back of the door. There's not much room in here to show you, but you can see basically what it's all about. We put a little gate latch on it. Um, again, just keeping with the traditional farmhousey style look. This is one of the original doors of the house. Um, it's after the bedroom door from this wall, which was here that we took out. We're going to be reusing these, but we don't have enough doors for upstairs. And we've made that door exactly the same or very similar. It's just a straight ledge door. We only, put in, we only put three ledges in um, to keep it within the same character as the houses. Obviously we want to retain as much of the individual unique character as we possibly can. So we're in our fabulous outdoor workshop. Um, we've got our tools out. Let's get on with it. So the first thing we're going to cut are the ledges. They're the horizontal bits that go on the door. Um, then the, the, need, the door is going to be 765 millimetres wide, so we're going to cut them to that length. I am wearing my 3M safety glasses, the safety sunglasses today. So we'll just mark that off. 765. One down, two to go. Once we've cut our ledges, we need to take the tongue and groove off them. So we just to give us pieces of wood basically, with no fancy bits. We've set the saw up to do that. And we're just going to run them down. to chop your fingers off if you're using one of these so that's one side done we need to do both sides of the other so we'll get those done and come back to you next we're going to cut the the main pieces for the door they're 1790 millimeters we've marked it here and we're gonna this is the first one we're going to cut all six and we'll come back to you once again right now the technical bit we've cut our boards high We've cut our ledges wide. The problem we've got now is each of these boards, the tongue and groove, is 140 millimetres wide. 
we've got six, which gives us what's six times one hundred and forty, six seven hundred eight hundred and twenty, which is more than we need. In any case, on the edges of the door, we don't want a groove or a tongue showing, so we'll take the groove off one and the tongue off the other. But when we at the same time we'll do that, we'll cut these to the width that will make the door the width that we want it, if that makes sense. One's going to be 105 and the other is going to be 100. We've done a little drawing here that hopefully will help you to see. Right, so we've done a little diagram to try and explain this. Um, the width we want is 765. Four full boards at 140 gives us 560. If we take five, seven, the 560 from the 765, that leaves us 205. The two end boards here want the groove off one and the tongue off the other, whichever way around, it doesn't matter. Um, so we've calculated we've got the four at 140. We're going to do one at 100 for this side and the other one at 105 for that side. Right, so we're going to cut the first one um, full length all the way down, take the tongue off this one. We've set the saw to 105 millimetres and all we've got to do is run it through. So we've got our, our ripped down piece, we're going to assemble these with the other four. We're going to be a bit smart here because we're not going to cut the last one until we've got these five together and we're actually going to measure it to double check. So we're going to stick these together, we're actually going to put a, a bead of glue down the joint um, to give the door a lot more rigidity to make it solid because we're only putting ledges in and not putting braces in. We don't need to worry about squaring them up because we'll square them to the edges of the bench which is absolutely perfectly square. So we just want to bead the glue if we can get it to come out. We're running it on top of the groove because we don't want it coming out on the face because we won't be able to see it. If that makes sense. There we go, that's the first one. Get it the right way up. That'll be embarrassing. <laughs> We're making it face down. So things don't always go as planned. Um, the first piece we put on was actually like a bit of a banana. Um, so we've had to put a ratchet strap on to pull the boards together. Can you see that clearly? Um, best laid plans and all that. Um, we've actually nailed the first ledge on, nailed and glued the first ledge on. Um, so we're gonna have to wait for that to dry before we can take the straps off. Um, we'll come back to you when that's done. That we lost sound on this clip, but here we are just explaining and um, that the piece we'd fitted was a bit like a banana with a large gap that we couldn't close up by hand at that end. Um, what we did we put a ratchet strap on it um, and use that to tighten it up and pull the boards together, at which point we could um, nail and glue them um, and hopefully it held it in place. I think we also explained that people, observant people, would have noticed the glue coming out, um, but it's not an issue because it just wipes off with a, a wet cloth. Um, 
then to a massive drum roll we, uh, we took the straps off and joy of joy it had worked it had held the joint was nice and tight um, so that was happy days there then we went on and assembled the rest of the doors um, mentioned with the other piece for the other side we cut it actually cut it to a hundred and um, it fitted perfectly and next we need to fit the the center piece um, which goes in the middle we marked a, a center between the other two ledges and um, went to get the the nail gun explaining that it's just a, a standard air nailer um, and that we're using 35 mil nails in it because the wood's 21 mil each piece making 42 in total so 35 mil nails would ensure that they wouldn't come through finally we ran a bead of glue down the centre ledger then we flipped it over into lining it up with the mark that we put on the board with the centre of the board we checked the measurement was correct and then verified the other side was the same it wasn't quite exact so we just made a little adjustment we've got a cat a little cat commentating in the background as well and we, once we've made the adjustment we came back to the other side and just to check that that was all right then a bit of pressure on it and nailed it in place two nails in each end and then one either side of the the joints of the boards okay so here's our finished door um, I should I'd just like to mention I'd just like to say this is actually made from Bordeaux pine it's 21 mil thick tongue and groove floorboards the actual total cost of making this was less than 25 euros so it's worth it if you want to have a go and can do it yourself um, we're now going to take it upstairs we're going to hang it fit the door furniture and give it a coat of oil I'm going to offer the door up get it into place we've got an assortment of wedges and bits um, to get it positioned properly so we've got an even beam even gap all the way around the outsides of it so let's get on with it it should fit and there we go it's very difficult to film this Sharon's actually standing in the shower um, we've got our wedges in now we're gonna stick the hinges on okay we are actually stuck in here until we get this done first of all we take one of our hinges we'll do the middle one first position Right, we've got it on. We've got a couple of screws in each hinge, that's all, just to make sure that it works. Which it does, it goes nice and cleanly. So now we'll just put the rest of the screws in. Okay, so it's all finished. Um, it opens and closes. Hopefully, it looks nice. Um, right, next thing to do, we're going to give it a coat of oil before we fix the, the furniture to it. So thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what we do, if you enjoy what we do, please consider subscribing to the channel. It doesn't cost anything. 
And if you want to receive notifications of all our videos, check the little bell next to the subscribe button and select all. Thanks again and see you soon.